we specifically designed our major to have Jewish studies be what we think the model liberal arts education should be in the 21st century. One of the things we designed when we were thinking about the major is how to make a liberal arts education speak in the year 2011. So we, for example, are having our students all do internship programs where we send them out into the world to take what they're learning in the classroom out to places like politicians' offices, hospitals, nonprofit organizations. And then they come back to the classroom and study about what they're doing in the world through a Jewish studies lens. Well, the gift that Midge Korshak and Leslie Lomas made to the program in Jewish studies is incredibly significant. When two donors come together and say, we believe in this program enough, to give this much money and this much um, permanence to a program, it really says a lot and actually it's a vote of confidence for what we're doing on campus. I can't think of another way that we could honor him that would make him happier. And how pleased we are to be able to, to do this in his honor. He sent friends, kids to college. Numerous things that he did. Our family, many members of our family were supported by him, never said a word about it. Only really after he died did things sort of come out. Oh, you know your father sent my son to college. To this day, I'm sure there are many, many people and institutions that have benefited from him that, that we have no idea about. I think one of the things that prompted her to make this gift was sitting in on our classes and seeing how amazing our faculty are and how engaged the students are. I was just um, impressed and I thought, this is wonderful. I hope this will go, be able to go on. I would say that our students come from a variety of backgrounds, states, nations. I actually have two students from Saudi Arabia in my class right now who are actually two of the most engaged students in the class, which I'm finding a fascinating um, learning experience. I mean, last semester I actually had a Somali student who specifically wanted to study Jewish studies because he was raised in a conservative Muslim environment that he wanted to have expanded open for him and so he specifically went to a Jewish studies class and he's actually going to become one of our certificate students. Well the future of Jewish studies is generally one of growth. Um, we've seen a huge amount of growth in our first three years. Uh, when I got to campus we were offering about eight or nine courses a semester and had 14 students in the certificate program and now we deliver about 22 courses a semester and have nearly 70 students in the program. So we've already seen a tremendous amount of growth. The issue is we want to make sure that that growth is, is permanent, is structural. And that happens through the university supporting us by giving us new faculty lines and from individual donors who step up and say, this is too important to let it die at the end of a year or two or three from a grant. And these individual donors are the ones we rely on to make sure that we can keep our faculty members here, that we can keep student scholarships growing, and therefore keep growing our classes so that we now have 1,500 students in our program.